Hello guys, what's up? My name is Hollow, and today we are back with another episode of Cottage Living. So we are here with Lamina, and right now she is just talking to our little bunny here. Um, we never named this one, but I just always call it the Calico Rabbit, so I'm just going to name it Calico. But unfortunately, we started off this episode with a bit of a sad notification. Um, right before we started, I got the notification that Chloe is getting on in years. So um, we actually got that at the end of the last episode as well. Ooh. God, your bathroom is disgusting. Clean your bathroom and fix your toilet. Oh my God. Jesus. Okay. So um, she's going to do a little bit of cleanup first, but then we've got to go and take care of all our animals and stuff, take care of the farm. And I think the plan for today is to clean up the garden a little bit because right now the mushroom shed looks really nice and the kitchen area is nice. I mean, <laughs> the kitchen, the chicken area is really nice. But this area over here is just sort of, eh. This area over here is sort of, eh. And then, like, all this path work is a little off. And, like, there's the old path from before. So we want to sort of change it up and really get it more organized. But also we want to start working on furnishing our bedrooms. Because we want to get one ready for us and one ready for our sister Camilla. Because she is going to be aging up soon. I actually want to check how long she has. So Camilla has five days until she ages up. So we definitely want to get this done as soon because we want to have this ready because we want her to move in with us as soon as she becomes an adult. So that way we can hang out together and we can play both sisters because we really liked playing both of them as kids. So we want to sort of bring them both back. Guys, our berries have finally grown. So it looks like we can finally, finally, finally do this task which is gonna be awesome. Uh, so once we finish taking care of all the garden stuff, we will harvest everything and then go finish this task first. And then we'll come back and do the stuff for the house. Oh, our rooster chick just grew up. Oh my God, it's another rooster. Why aren't we getting any hens? We might have to buy some hens because Chloe is getting old and the only thing we have are roosters. All her kids have been roosters. But yeah, we have one egg that's currently in the coop incubating. And it still has a day before it hatches, so we'll see how that goes. I think I'm actually going to sell our latest little rooster because I don't think we need him. Like, <laughs> we have three roosters already, and, like, I really don't think we need this new guy. So I think I'm going to go ahead and sell him. Yeah, because, like, we haven't named him or anything, so it's not like we're really attached to him yet. It's, oh my god, you can trade him for meat. That's that feels horrible. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not like vegetarian or vegan or anything. So I, I like, I eat meat, but it's just like, it feels weird to have like your homegrown, like the chicken you keep in your backyard to trade it for meat. That sounds horrible. Um, so yeah, we're just doing simoleons. We're going to trade them for simoleons. Um, I wonder if she's going to get a sad moodlet. Cause like when you sell, when you, um, sell puppies and kittens, you get a sad moodlet. So I wonder if you get one for selling your chickens. Wait, on the road to fame? You get fame from selling a chicken? <laughs> what? Oh, he just disappeared. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Sad to see you go. Okay. From seeing a beloved chicken get sold away. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. If he wasn't beloved, you barely knew him. Oh, your mom's here. Let's talk to our mom. We haven't talked to her in a while. Um, Let's see, Rila. She's still an adult. I was worried she might have become an elder, but she's not. So we're all good. Don't, don't put it on the ground. Oh my God. I'll take care of it. But yeah, our mom should probably be pretty proud of us. We've do we're doing pretty well. Okay, you really went and sat down before you let her in, really? Um, because we haven't seen our mom in a while. We haven't seen her since we went to her house like several episodes ago. So, um, we should probably set some time just talking to her. Like, yeah, so let's just talk with our mom for a little bit, spend some time with her since we haven't seen her in a while. Um, sort of show off all the work we've done on the house, tell like get her ready for like, hey, when Camilla grows up, maybe she should come here, you know, that sort of thing. Maybe that's the talk they're having. It's like, hey, I want Camilla to move in with me. I've got space for her. What do you think? That sort of thing. Because that is sort of like an important thing to talk about, you know, like if you're planning on taking in your younger sister and you're like building your own house, it's probably something your parents want to talk about before they just start doing it, you know? Oh, we got a sentiment. You know what? It's been wonderful to spend time with you. We've made some great memories and we'll make many more, I'm sure of it. Cute. Oh, she's talking about evil chickens. Why? Why are you talking about evil chickens? Do you want an evil chicken? Because, I mean, we can do that if you want, but I don't see the point of it. Um, but I think now we're going to go ahead and 
take care of these plants here and harvest everything so that way we can go and make the drinks for um, Sarah the barkeep. Okay, so Amina is just going around talking to all the rabbits real quick and then we're going to encourage our crop growth on these because we want to make sure we get giant plants for the fair this week. Um, but aside from that, I've noticed it's the lottery, so I'm going to have her go ahead and buy a lottery ticket. If we can get, if we win the lottery, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. I've never done it before, so, um, you know, it'd be interesting. No, okay, we're good. All right, so let's go ahead and have her travel to the bar, so that way we can go get her, um, get the drinks done. And we'll go ahead and bring Camilla, because we haven't seen Camilla in a while, so we'll go ahead and bring Camilla and talk to her, because if we are planning on moving her in, we should, like, talk to her, you know, be like, hey... So are you still, like, do you, I know we talked about it, like, a long time ago. Do you still want to move in with me? It's like, my house is ready. I've got a room for you. Like, do you want to come? That sort of thing. All right. So here we are. Um, first thing I want to do is deal with Sarah. And we will, well, actually, let's talk to Camilla. We should talk to Camilla first. Like, we brought her here. The first thing we should do is talk to her. Um, so let's go ahead and tell her a funny story. Oh, no, 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 no. Excellent click take residence key back. Do not want to do that. Um, I want Camilla to come over whenever she wants. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and talk to her for a little bit. Um, let's queue up some actual interactions that I want. Sentiment. I really value the time we spend together. I think it's made us closer than ever. Cute. Um, however, something embarrassing did just happen. Okay. But, okay, now that we've actually talked to our sister for a little bit now, I think we can go talk to Sarah and try to get this errand finished. Oh, well, Camilla just left. Okay, so I guess she had stuff to do. Uh, she just came by to talk to us for a little bit. Um, let me see, where is, there it is. Deliver blueberry, raspberry, and chocoberry. All right, and now Amina is super uncomfortable because she's actually an introvert, so being out in public is a little hard for her. Okay, so we delivered those. Now, pause, 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 pause. I think Sarah's pregnant. She just had like the baby thought and she does have a little bit of a bump. Well, this will do nicely for what I have in mind. Come see me at the bar and I'll collect a little something I'm calling a bagel fairy, a bagel, a, and I'll concoct a little something I'm calling a bagley berry fizz. Jeez, um, it disappeared because it's so hard for me to read. Uh, let's see. Do I have to order it from her or from the bar? Oh, let's deliver the charming inverted mushrooms. Apparently we have to do that now too. Delightful. These mushrooms look perfectly pungent. Visit me at the bar and I'll craft them into an earthy drink with a kick with a kick to it. I call it the verdant and funk. I'm not seeing it, so it looks like I have to order it from the bar. Oh, yeah, yeah, Okay. So let's order the Bagley Berry Fizz sampler first. And then we'll have to order the verdant and funk one. Well, that is our Berry Fizz thing. It looks okay. What did we think of it? Oh, okay. We're dazed. Instantly dazed. Uh-oh. Amina seems to have had a few too many drinks. Oh, that's from Slice of Life. That's not from the drink. Bagley buff from drink. Amina feels like the playful currents of the river Bagley and wouldn't stay and wouldn't say no to a swim. Okay. So I guess she wants to go swimming. Um, another fun thing. Since I have the new Slice, since I have Slice of Life um, alcohol pack, or juice pack, whatever. I don't remember what it's called. Um, Amina is going to be drunk in 17 minutes. So we'll get to find out what type of drunk she is. She might be a flirty drunk. She might be a, like, a mean drunk. She might be a happy drunk. So we'll get to see. Oh, no. She's an angry drunk. Great. Okay. Um, not exactly what I was hoping for. Order the Verdant and Funk sampler. A ghost took my seat. Really? That's so rude. I'm not sure. No one's talking to you, Echo. God, I swear that thing is so annoying. Like, sometimes it's super helpful, and sometimes it's just like, can you get the fuck out of my face, please? <laughs> like, please stop talking to me. Look at the little mushroom one. The mushroom one looks cute. The verdant and funk looks very cute. What the funk? <laughs> that verdant and funk is hitting all the right notes on Amina's palate. It's a drink that many would be thrilled to discover in a country pub. Okay, so I guess it wasn't bad. Um, and she's off to go dance. Okay, good for you. Tell the pub owner which drink to serve. 
I didn't get to see it, but it looks like it made us focus. So I think I'm going to recommend the Verdant and Funk one. So, um, let's see. Everyone can probably see how anxious I am right now. Oh, poor baby. Her introverted trait is getting to her. Um, so let's choose the Verdant and Funk. I like that one. I think that one's better. Wonderful choice. Between you and I, that was the option I'd hoped you'd pick. This new signature drink is sure to put our town's pub on the map. All right, awesome. So we all done? So we got a bit of money from it. What did we get for like items and stuff? Ooh, okay. We got cottage pie, yummy. We got two mysterious packages that won't tell me what they are. Um, that's a little sus. Um, I'm not sure why it's not telling me what it is. Cause like my game's not frozen or anything. So why isn't it telling me what they are? Um, that's concerning. Okay, so I don't know what those are. Um, I'm assuming they're ingredients of some type, but I don't know what they would be. I don't know, because I kind of want to stay here and sell my ingredients tomorrow morning, but we have to wait like seven hours for that. Which, I mean, she is tired, so we could have her nap on the sofa, but I don't really want to do all that. Um, I don't know, let's have her go up and, well, we'll fix this toilet for her. Yeah, I think we'll just stay here and we'll do some stuff until it's time to um, sell stuff at the shops because like I want to I want to see if selling stuff at the shops gets you more money than just selling straight from your inventory because if it does, that's definitely something for Amina to look into doing um, because it doesn't really take that much effort to just go into town and sell your stuff real quick rather than just selling it from the inventory. I mean, it definitely does take more effort, but not too much, you know. So I'm going to have her go ahead and take care of all this. And then I'm going to use this toilet too, because it's been pranked for forever and I'm sick of it. <laughs> so I'm just going to use it so that it gets unpranked and then fix it. Uh, plus like doing these fixes helps get our handiness skill up, which is good for us. And Amina likes handiness, so it's not like it's going to bother her doing it. All right. And I just had a little idea since Amina is here, like doing all this repairing and stuff, I think it would make sense that she'd be like doing like a handyman service. So it's like she came in and talked to Sarah and then she was like, oh, Sarah, I know there's some issues with your toilet upstairs. Uh, do you want me to go fix it? So I'm going to have Sarah pay her a little bit. We're going to give her like a hundred simoleons because she did repair both toilets. Um, she's now about to repair this sink because a ghost broke it and she actually cleaned up the bathroom as well So we're gonna give her a hundred simoleons for helping out at the bar. What the hell is on that woman's face? Hold on. What the hell is that? What is up with you? Are you wearing the eyeball ring? Is that why? No, she's not even wearing the eyeball ring What is that? Ugh. That, I, I, I don't know what's up with her. I don't know. I don't know what's up with her. But uh, we are going to nap. And then as soon as the stalls open up, we'll go sell our stuff to either Agatha, Agnes, or um, Kim. That's her name. <laughs> so uh, we'll sell it to one of those guys. And yeah, then we should head home and get like some proper sleep because sleeping on a sofa is not going to be like the best. Okay, so I thought the shops opened at 7, but it turns out they don't actually open till 9. But now that they are open, let's go haggle with Kim and then try to sell our items to her. Because she does like the actual grocery store side of things, and that's where we want to sell stuff. Is other grocery. I mean, and we have to remember to keep some fruits because we do use our fruits to make fruit salad because we are on a simple living lot. So, um, yeah, <laughs> we need those. I hope my ingredients didn't go bad because like I still can't, um... I still can't see what they are and like I can't open it or anything so I don't know what it is I still have no idea what these are and I can't tell like if they're if they're going bad or what like I don't know what they are because like I don't know it could be meat it could be flour it could be sugar I have no idea what it is so um yeah oh Bjorn got the wall what what <laughs> Bjorn won the lottery. Jesus, I can't speak. Okay. You drive a hard bargain. Tell you what, I'll give you 25% off anything. Nice. Okay. I'm pretty sure, yes, this haggling actually gives you a boost on profit. So it gets a 10% profit boost, which is great. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Um, we've also randomly started talking to this chick um, who seems 
nice, I guess. Um, so let's go ahead and sell all the cherries. We'll sell all the charming mushrooms. Um, we'll sell some of our chocolate berries, not all of them. We'll keep three, I think. Uh, we'll sell all our grapes. Um, we'll sell most of our lemons. We'll keep three. And then we'll sell all our lovely mushrooms, all our raspberries, um, all our spicy mushrooms, all our verdant mushrooms. Okay, and now I can see what it is. I have wrapped red meat and wrapped white meat. Okay, so I don't know if they've gone off. Like, it doesn't tell you if they have or not. So, um... I don't know. I'm going to take them home, put them in the fridge, and hopefully they're okay. I have no idea if they actually will be or not. But yeah, with all that stuff that we're selling, we're getting almost 400 simoleons. That's pretty good. Um, it's actually really good. I think that's actually better than what we make at home. So it's definitely probably worth it to come here and sell to the store. Amina has decided to talk to this girl just randomly on her own. So I'm going to go ahead and have her talk to Cecilia a little bit. Sort of makes friends with her. Um, she's pregnant. I don't think the first thing you should do is ask to feel her baby. That's a little awkward. Let's tell, let's just talk to her for a little bit. Maybe you get to know her some. Because, like, if she's cool, we might end up becoming friends with her. She might become one of our older friends, you know. Because we have plenty of our friends from, like, um, high school and stuff. But we don't have any, like, older friends. So, you know, it might be good to, like, meet her. Well, I, I guess we're technically friends with Sarah. Ooh, so we got level 5 of charisma. Nice. Patrick is telling us about fish and yeah I think that's enough so we got to know her a little bit um so let's go over here and I actually want to buy some cross stitching stuff from Agnes because I want to do a couple cross stitches cross stitches as decoration for the house especially since we get a lot of cross stitch patterns as gifts from our rabbits I want to go ahead and make some cross stitches to put up around the house so I want to buy a couple different size rings and see if I can do some of that Oh, come on, Agnes. So rude. She wouldn't haggle with me. Oh, well. Um, let's buy some stuff. And I don't know if you need wool to do your um, cross stitch. Like, I know you need it. Like, if you were going to... I think... Because I think you can either pay for it or use wool to do it. I think. I hope. Because I don't know how to do it without it. Um... She also has these little gnomes. I kind of feel like, I kind of feel like Amina would want a little gnome. Let's get a little herb. <laughs> herb the posy protector. <laughs> Cute. Um, we'll get that. We'll get a cross stitch, a large cross stitch, a medium cross stitch. Um, let's actually, like, let's get, oh, she only had one. Oh, I wanted to get two. Um, does she have any small ones? She has one small one. We'll get the small one too. And that's really all I need. So that's only 220. It's not too bad. Um, we spent less than we we spent less than we made today, which is good. So uh, we've got all our stuff now, so we can go ahead and head home. Oh wait, actually, let's not do that. Hold on. Pause. 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 I need to see if I can cross stitch without wool. Okay, so you can use in, you can use ingredients that'll probably lessen how much it costs, but um, you can also just like pay the price just to cross stitch, which is fine. Okay, so we're good. So we can actually head home. Um, is she embarrassed from haggling? Yeah, you're not a heartless haggler. She's just heartless. We're going to go ahead and head home. And I think we'll do a little bit of work on the garden, like doing the terrain, like redoing the terrain and stuff and sort of trying to get it set up a little bit. And I think I might buy a couple more garden plots, like the oversized crop ones. I think I might buy like two more so that way we can have a slightly bigger garden. I don't really know how I'm going to organize the rest of the garden yet. Um, I think we'll get to that when we get there because I do think I probably want to expand it a little bit because I mean that is her main that is how she makes money it's from her garden so we probably want to expand the garden a little bit but I don't want to use just all the same plants you know I don't want to just plant like a million berries I want to have like a big variety because that's also going to be her source of food too because she's going to be using that to do her simple living stuff so um we'll probably we might go and get her some seed packets and stuff when she gets home so that way she can plant some more stuff and we can sort of set up an actual proper garden that actually like makes sense and looks nice and everything so uh we'll see how it goes I'll, that'll be what we do when we get back okay so now that we're back 
the first thing I want to do is jump into build mode so that we can start working on this garden and all the terrain and everything and try to get this sort of figured out a little bit. Uh, maybe tear down that old fence and who knows, maybe even build up a new fence for our garden, sort of box it in. Because if we do that, then we can let our chickens roam through the garden. So our chickens will help take care of the garden as well. And eventually when we get a golden chicken, which is a goal, um, we our golden chicken will help take care of all of our plants. So that'll be some stuff we're sort of thinking about today. So let's remove the grid real quick. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get rid of these old fences because they're like they're old and they're rotted and they're sort of like just they're debug anyway. So like our Sims would just stuff would just walk right through them. Um, and then I think I'm just going to remove. Oh, I don't want to remove all the terrain paint because then I have to redo all this. Um, so let's go over here. And gonna erase all this stuff along here because we want to totally redo this area um I think I want to redo this whole area here in front of the um like the da -da 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 -da, words are not working um garden is that the word I was looking for in front of the garden yeah that would make sense um okay <laughs> Sorry, my brain is just like fried right now. I had to change my schedule for work, so I'm sleep like like my whole sleep schedule just got like flipped upside down. So my brain is a little yeah right now. Um, let's go ahead and sort of set up a little pathway through here, and then have it swing down in front of the chicken coop. Because I, I want to leave my little mushroom here, so I can't put one like directly across from this. So I'm thinking that I'll do them down here. Alright, so we can do a little bit of that. I think that looks pretty good. Um, actually, we're sort of bringing this path a little bit. Have it sort of widen around there as well. Um, and then... I think we probably want... Like, how much space do I want for a garden? That's the question. How much garden space do I want? Because our mushrooms are going to be our main thing. Our mushrooms have their own little place, which is fine. Then we've got our oversized crops, our chickens. But what are we going to do with this sort of thing? I was, I was talking about her using her vegetables and like her fruits and stuff as like her main source of income. But it might make more sense to get rid of these extra vegetables and just focus on her mushrooms and her oversized crops. So I'll sell one of the raspberries and I'll move a choco berry over here instead. And then I think I'll sell all these choco berries because I don't think we really need them. Um, I think we'll keep our flowers because it might be nice to have some flowers up around. Um, spinach. We probably want to keep spinach too because that's like an actual, that's like a vegetable she can eat. So maybe instead of turning these into a proper garden, we'll just sort of spread them out a little bit. So they're sort of scattered around her, um, around the property. So maybe we can move like the cherry tree over here and move the lemon tree sort of down over here then maybe we'll get like little planters for the front for her spinach and stuff so we can move our spinach in over here um we'll set up a little lily plant over here by the door i think that'll be cute and then we'll sell the other two because i don't think we need those all right and this actually gives us a lot more garden space so we can actually like do stuff in our garden now which is nice all right so now we want to go in and just sort of fix up the terrain a little bit so I want to make the gardens look a bit more like gardeny, you know, having some like dirt and stuff around them. And I need to do that for the house, for the new expansion of the house, because I don't have any other dirt like around the edges. Because I feel like that just helps it a little bit. It just helps it look a little bit nicer if you add like a little bit of dirt around the edges. So it helps make your house look a little bit more grounded. So it looks like it's actually there rather than just sort of placed down on the lot. And we can even do it under our fences as well. That might be something we want to do. We might want to actually fix our fence today. Because I think we have enough money to do it. Right. So we've got that pavement all in. And then let's go ahead and fix our fence. I think that would make the most sense. Um, so now we've got this cute little area. Actually, I think I'm going to move these over just a touch. Because I feel like that might clip with, the, with that and not work. So there we go. We've got our little fence built up. Because looking at this, this is not very even looking. Um, I think I'm actually going to move these down. Because I want to have sort of like 
a little six I think I'm gonna do a six plot so four here and two here and sort of move them down so they don't mess up my little mushrooms because I love my little mushrooms and I don't want them messed up and there we go now they fit and they're not messing with my mushrooms which is great and then I think chickens sort of tear up the ground where they live so maybe we'll add a little more like dirt and sand in these areas too I think that looks pretty good maybe we'll have the stone come over to our garden maybe no I don't think that makes any sense no let's not do that meander off towards the front like we don't want it to be too intense because obviously there's nothing for it to meet up with so i'm gonna have like that little space and then come back in and erase it a little bit to sort of make it feel a little like it's worn out and sort of disappearing like i think eventually i'll want to put in like a little eating out area sort of place over here maybe like a nice dining table dining table and like some um like a grill and stuff and then like we can have some sort of hangout space over here and have like more gardens down in here like this type of garden not this type of garden like little flowers and stuff along here uh, but for now I think that's pretty good I think that is a good enough place for right now and then I'm going to spend the rest of our money inside so the first thing we want to do is get Camilla's room all set up because like if we want her to move in we want her to have a nice place and I want to see if I can get a better bed than this because I want to like I would like to give her like a more cottagey looking bed like this one's okay but it's not really the vibe I'm looking for um I'm not entirely sure what the vibe I'm looking for is either but because like I think I really want the cottage living bed I think I like that wire frame or well I don't know if it's wire the metal frame I think it looks really nice yeah I can't actually afford it okay so yeah we're gonna get her the cottage living bed and then we'll move this bed into amina's room for now and amina can use it until we can get her a better bed which means we can finally sell the piece of trash bed <laughs> there goes the trash bed it's all gone um but let's go ahead and find a good swatch for camilla and then we're pretty much spent up. <laughs> we only have a hundred simoleons left. I mean, I might be able to get some rugs because I've got custom content. So I can get, I might be able to get her a nice rug in here. There we go. Okay. So we got a little rug for our kitchen, which is nice. And then we got to find something for Amina's room. And we want something colorful that's going to be a different color from the bed. Because we want her room to be really colorful. I feel like she'd have sort of like an old school, like something like this. Where it's like old school and kind of weathered. But I feel like that just clashes too much. I feel like there's way too much pattern going on. Mm, maybe if I switch it to just a yellow bed. Yeah, I think I like that better. And I think I'll actually pull this back a little bit so it's like that. Amina, we're not going to worry about her bed right now. I mean, her rug right now because we don't have a bed. So we don't actually know what style her room's going to be. Um, maybe we could get a rug for the front door. Maybe like this little one. This one's cute, right? Again, sort of like these little old school style rugs. Pretty much spent up at this point. So um, let's go ahead and go back to live mode. And then we can buy some new plants for our um, oversized crops. This time we'll just get one of each of the others. So we've got one lettuce, one mushroom, one aubergine, and one watermelon. By the way, I don't know if I'm saying aubergine right. Because in I'm I'm American, so we say eggplant. <laughs> so I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly or not. So if I am wrong, please let me know because I would like to say it correctly. I just don't know how, and I'm too lazy to look it up. So <laughs> yeah. So what did we get? Oh, we got a golden egg. Is it hatchable? No. Sad. I need to learn how to make golden treats because I want to make a golden chicken. Right, so let me put the egg in the fridge. Oh, I need to put the meat in the fridge, too. I hope those haven't spoiled. I really hope they haven't spoiled. Because uh, I haven't really been paying attention to that. And we got our gnome. I forgot about our gnome. Okay. Um, I think we're going to put our little gnome down here in front of the door. So he can stand here right next to our little flower pot guarding our door. Very cute. All right. Then I'm going to go ahead and put this fruit into our fridge so I don't forget about it. Uh, I mean, so I don't like accidentally sell it or something because I'm not paying attention. Amina is pretty exhausted. So we're going to have her go ahead and go to bed and um, we'll see what else we can do tomorrow. Because I think like 
we'll get a harvest of our nightly mushrooms tonight. So I really want to try to finish up Camilla's room today. I think that'll be my goal for today is to finish her room. So um, we want to get some more. No, not another message. There's another message about Chloe getting on in years. I don't like it. I don't want to see that. That makes me so sad. Like, don't, don't tell me that. I don't want Chloe to go. She's so sweet. But I'm surprised we haven't gotten one for Henry yet. Because Henry, we got Henry at the same time as we got Chloe. So I don't know why we haven't gotten a message for Henry yet. But I'm glad we haven't. I don't want to see it. I don't ever want to see it. Um, but yeah, Chloe is 100% an elder. What about Henry? Henry's still a young adult. What? How are you? Oh, I think it's because we kept giving him treats. We kept giving Henry Salsa uh, a bunch of a, tr a bunch of uh, friendly treats. Do friendly treats make them stay younger? What? He Guac is older than Henry Salsa. Guac's an adult. But Guac is Henry Salsa's kid. I don't... Okay, I'm... I'm confused. I'm... I'm confused. Okay. Um, sweetheart, go to bed. Go to sleep. You are tired. Um, but yeah. Oh, she wants to hang out with Calico. Cute. I have to get a screenshot. It's adorable. Cute. Okay. Um, but yeah. Let's send her to bed and we'll see how much money we can make. I'm gonna watch our nightly mushrooms to make sure that I get them tonight. Because I think they sh I think we figured out that they go off around like 10 p.m. is when they sort of grow up. So um, I want to keep an eye out for that. All right. Yes. 10 p.m. So now it's time to get up and come harvest these. Um, we're just going to sell all of them straight up because we don't really need to eat them. Like we've got our other ones if we want to eat stuff. We are all good. Look at that money. Almost a thousand simoleons just from our nightly mushrooms. Fantastic. Oh, 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 look at our pumpkins. Nice. We got two giant ones again. So we can submit these to the oversized crop fair on Saturday. That'll be great. So that'll, that'll probably be the goal for next episode is to finally get this one, win a competition. It's because I think that's the last bit of our aspiration. I think I, I always get confused by these. So this is three out of four. I don't know if that means we finished three out of four or we're on three out of four. I don't know. So, um, yeah. Oh, we're meeting a new rabbit. Oh, cute. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Um, I can't discover your gift preferences. Do I know anything that you like? I'm going to give you an egg and see what you think of it. Because we need to be making more uh, bunny friends because as we learned in an earlier episode, our bunnies do in fact die. So uh, we need to actually make sure we're befriending new rabbits and stuff. Oh, yay. It liked our... Um, it liked our egg. That's good. And we leveled up our dancing skill purely from dancing for animals again. So <laughs> that's kind of cute. Um, this bunny is actually liking us. And we can already ask for gardening help. Wow, this bunny is like the nicest bunny we've ever met. And I'm going to go ahead and name it because I've been eyeing this bunny for a little bit. Mm, that's tempting. <laughs> Peter Rabbit is very tempting. But I, when I think of Peter Rabbit, I think of a brown rabbit. So um, I'm not going to do that. But when I think of a white rabbit, I think of the rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. But I don't know his name, so I'm just going to name this rabbit Alice. So we've got little Alice, our little white rabbit, who is our newest addition to our garden helpers. Um, she's a young adult, so she should be all good. We should have her for a little while. Um, what is this? I got the moves from Dancing to an Animal. Smooth moves pay off in the best ways. Bring joys to an animal, friends, and sims alike. Great. Okay. I thought you had to be level 5 dancing to get the dancing mat. I'm only level 3. Whatever, I'll take it. Um, we'll sell that. <laughs> I don't care. Um, and then we've still got this litter light. Um, no one left any comments about whether or not I should keep it or not. Ooh, we got some wool. Pink llama wool. Cute. Um, but I don't, I don't really think it's her vibe. I don't know. I don't think she's much of like a crystals and elements sort of person. So I'm going to go ahead and sell that too. Like, on one hand, I'd like her to keep stuff. Like, I like her, I like the idea of her keeping stuff she finds. Like, I would like, like, once we actually build up the house, I'd like for her to have, like, a frog shelf or something where she keeps all her frogs. I think that would be really cute. But, like, crystals and minerals, I don't think it's really her thing. So we'll get rid of that. Um, and maybe we can do a little cross-stitching since we're here. And we can stitch some patterns to put in, um, what the hell? <laughs> in Camilla's room. Ooh, let's do this one because we get a discount for having pink wool. 
And we'll have Amina do some cross stitching, which she hasn't done since she was a kid. She hasn't done cross stitching in a while. So this might not be very good, but I hope she enjoys it at least. And we get to make something cute that she can put up in her sister's room to help get it ready, get it nice and homey for her. After she does that, I think we'll do a little bit more in, um, in Camilla's room because we do still have another thousand simoleons. So um, I think we'll go do that. Well, we might wait until the morning when we get our next harvest because when we get our next harvest, we'll have even more stuff to sell. So, um, and I think we'll wait until then actually. Ooh, okay. Um, our egg is ready to hatch. So let's go over to the coop and hatch our egg. Cute. So adorable. Okay, so is this one a hen chick or a rooster chick? Oh my god, it's another rooster chick. Are you kidding me? Why do we only get roosters? I don't, I'm gonna have to sell another one. I don't need roosters. I need another hen. I'm gonna buy another hen, I think. Um, let's buy another hen because we don't have enough. Let's get a black hen this time. Oh, there she is. Beautiful. Okay, what should we name our black hen? Come up with a name for our black hen, guys. Um, but don't bother naming the rooster chick because he's he's going to go up for sale. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it's kind of sad, but he's going up for sale. We have too many roosters. We have so many roosters. I just, I can't, I can't keep so many. She will be Chloe's successor. She will be taking over the coop once Chloe passes. So that'll be, um, sort of, she'll be sort of important. I'm pretty sure the fair is tomorrow and these don't look like they're ready to grow up yet. Yeah, the Finchwick fair is tomorrow. Mm, okay, I really hope these grow up a little bit faster because I want to be able to take these in tomorrow, but I, I feel like there's another growth stage in between this and the final one. So, um, it's a little concerning. We got an anglerfish from one of our rabbits. Don't need that. We'll sell that. <gasps> is that an obsidian treat? A midnight treat. Chickens for where? <gasps> this is what gets us an evil chicken. Should we make an evil chicken? I will leave that up to you guys. Do you guys think we should make an evil chicken? Oh, bird of paradise. Those are super good. We're going to have to get another pot so that we can plant a bird of paradise. But um, tell me, guys, do you guys think we should make an evil chicken in the next episode? Should we maybe make our new hen an evil chicken? These are options. Okay. <laughs> you guys let me know. Those are important things for you guys need to tell me for the next episode. As soon as she finishes the cross stitch, we will get a pot for our new bird of paradise and we will finish up Camilla's room or at least do as much as we can. I think we'll be able to finish it with uh, with 1300 simoleons. I think we should be able to. Yeah. Okay. So that's pretty much all I can do. Um, so we've got Camilla's little room all sort of set up. She has her bed and her nightstands. Um, uh, she's got a little bit of decoration. She's got a dresser. So she is all set. Um, the room is ready for Camilla to move in. I mean, obviously we'll want to add up some more stuff, like some more pictures and like, um, little, we'll do some more cross stitches for her and stuff, make it look really cute and homey. But until then, until we get more money, we can't really do that. So, um, I think this is pretty much done for today. Um, I think the last thing I'm going to do is plant that uh, bird of paradise. And that is where I will leave it for today. We've gotten quite a bit of work done. Uh, we got Camilla's room all finished. We got our garden all edited and looking really beautiful. And um, we got a new hen. So we are ready for when Chloe unfortunately will pass because we have been getting that notification quite a few times that Henry, I mean, that Chloe is towards the end of her life. So um, we're waiting for that. Uh, we did get a midnight treat. So you guys need to let me know, should we use our midnight treat? Should we turn one of our chickens into an evil chicken? Because like, I don't really know what the gain is, but it might just be good for laughs, you know, just to have an evil chicken. And if we do, which chicken should it be? Should it be our new black hen? Or should it be one of our old favorites? Let me know. With that being said, I think we are all done for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.